Hello everyone, welcome to Retarget Common Group channel. I am Amod and today we are going to create our first test as part of our rest assured end-to-end -end test automation framework. You will be thinking that I have not written a single line of code in framework but how I will develop a test. So actually I just changed the way I was going to create the framework. I am going to take or going to create a very simple test first and from that test I will think what are the framework components I can develop just as reverse engineering. If from beginning only if I start adding the utilities you might not understand why we require such things that's why i just changed my pattern and i will create a test and from that i will develop the path of framework development okay so as of now i am going to use this url instant web tools and i am going to use these apis here so one more thing i want to clear here that in real time also you'll get the similar kind of apis which will face some data it will create some policy or it will create some user it will create create some person like that only there is nothing like real time apis are too, are too vast actually and they are very difficult or very difficult to test and very difficult to automate they have very different kind of way no in real time also you will get the similar kind of apis to test don't think that these apis are just very easy and we we can automate it easily but the in the real time you will get some difficult one no 80 percent 90 percent this this type of apis only you'll get in real time as well for testing purpose and for automation automation as well okay so let's get started i will cover some complex apis of maybe jira or some github as well but let's start with the basics first so in this website i have one endpoint you can see here let me start with the post and this endpoint or this api will create airline okay if you go to down go to documentation so here you can see it's like create airline api and for this we need to pass this body we can see here we have some fields in JSON and we need to pass this payload create an airline and this will be the endpoint. So let me show you this how it works in Postman. So let me copy this endpoint here and make sure that you have Postman installed. I'll go here and I will create a new collection and I will name it as airlines mouse over on airline collection click on this three horizontal circles go to add request let me paste the url and let me name it as create airline and obviously this is a post request so for that i am going to copy the body from here and we know that we need to go to body then you need to select the raw and then you need to select the json simple let me also let you know that there is no authentication means these are not the secure apis you just need to hit in postman there is no need no need of any authorization so if i try to hit or click on send button let's see what happens it is saying that it is giving you giving you an error like there is an airline registered under same id you have entered okay means i need to change the id so let me put some random number not that much big but yeah let me try it again okay so we can see the airline has been created and again we have one get call let me go and use this get call so that i can check whether my airline was created or not so instead of using the first one i'll use this one where i can pass the id as well so let me go here click uh, let me copy paste then it will obviously get call i will copy the id from here and i will be passing it here it's called path parent okay and uh, let me click on send okay so we can see whatever we created here i am able to retrieve it here as well okay so test case are very simple we need to create one airline okay and we have the body we have the base URI there is no authentication after creating this as a tester we should verify whether I am able to retrieve the airline detailer or not for that we have an API which is this API we need to pass the ID also if you see the documentation we have one more endpoint which is get again and this reads all airline details so you can also use this API let me try that one as well 
let me copy the url go to get hit it here sorry paste it here and click on send so it's just taking time it may take time if there's so many records and uh, yeah obviously it should have so many records so I, I will get some time out of some server error. let's see what it gives since these are free api so it might take more time because they are not putting so many resources so that the retrieving of data will be faster but let's see whether my airline is written by that api or not so i will simply copy and i will do Control f and I, if i do yeah i can see we have our airline listed here so this create airline i just created inside the collection itself but if you want to add these two requests also in collection so simply click on uh, save then you can see airlines and you can name it as get airline by id okay make sure that you are giving the proper names and same thing we can store this request as well and i will name it as get all airlines okay it will go to again under the airline airlines collection let me click on save okay so these two these two api i am going to use as of now and from this test uh, whatever we have done in postman let's try to rewrite or write the same thing or automate using race assured in our framework so for that what i'm going to do i'll go to my intellij under the test folder under the java i am going to create a new package and i will name it as airlines why i'm creating a package because i will take some other api example also so that i can segregate and this is also possible in real time also where you need to have different different apis so it is always good to group them together so let me go and let me create a java class and i will simply name it as airline test so let me i already used the test test engine in our uh, framework so we know that we can use the test right test notation okay so we need to create public void and then you can lab like create airline okay let's write very simple recessive code so we know that we need to use recessive class and here we have one method called given okay so as the first part we need to create the request specification request specification means we need to add the base path base uri we need to add the body we need to add the headers we need to add the authentication if applicable so here first thing we need to add the base uri so let me hard code here let me copy this endpoint let me let me paste it here in double quotes okay then what we have we need to set the content type which will be json okay and we don't have any authentication we have directly body so let me copy the entire body from here and let me change this one to 928 just to have some different id okay and we know that this is a post call okay so after retrieving or after calling the post call it will return a response that i am storing in a variable okay and i will simply assert the status code and i think it is returning you 200 so assert dot assert true or assert equals response dot status code it should be 200 okay very simple test case where i've just i'm creating one airline and leave about the get airline as of now okay let me run this program and i should be able to get the response properly test case is passed here and i have not put any logger so it will not print anything so let me put the logger as well log dot all and same thing for response as well And please understand here if you have directly jumped to this playlist to learn the research framework without going through my 
another playlist where I've explained all the recessive concept step by step then you will not understand all these codes. So if you know the basics, if you have gone through those videos, then only come to this playlist, then only you will understand the recessive framework. So here I can see it is printing everything properly and let me maximize it here and you can see it is going through id and given the 400 bad request and we know we have already seen this error earlier so that is possible because we have we didn't change the id and there's already one airline register with the same id so let it be this so we have written very simple test case here okay so now what i'm going to do i will take this test as an example or reference and then i will develop the framework now we'll see that in next video so if you have any doubt Please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.